Welcome hunters. Data miners are the worst, am I right? They already dissected Monster Hunter Rise and now we know everything about talisman melting, how it works and what to expect. Oh, you don't know? Then let me enlighten you. This will take a bit of explanation, but it's worth the time. So listen up. And if this is too boring for you, look at the timestamps and skip ahead. There are a total of 107 possible skills for talismans as of now in version 1.1.2. And they are categorized in four groups. Let's call them A, B, C and D, which A is the best and the rarest. In group A, you will find Ammo Up, Artillery, Critical Boost, Critical Draw, Focus, Good Luck, Handicraft, Jumpmaster, Marathon Runner, Mind's Eye, Mashromancer, Offensive Guard, Pierce Up, Rapid Fire Up and Spread Up. If you got one of those, it may be a good idea to keep them. In group 2, you get Agitator, Aim Booster, Attack Boost, Blast Attack, Critical Element, Critical Eye, Guard, Guard Up, Hellfire Cloak, Heroics, Latent Power, Load Shells, Maximum Mind, Normal Slash Rapid Up, Paralysis Attack, Peak Performance, Power Prolonger, Protective Polish, Razor Sharp, Resentment, Recessorate, Sleep Attack, Spare Shot, Special Ammo Boost, Stamina Surge and Weakness Exploit. Again, if you got one of those, keep them. In Group C, we have Blight Resistance, Bludgeoner, Bl Bubbly Dance, Counter Strike, Defense Boost, Divine Blessing, Earplugs, Evade Extender, Evade Window, All Your Attacks, Lynch Free, Heartbreaker, Punishing Draw, Quick Cheese, Rapid Moth, Recoil Down, Reload Speed, Slugger, Speed Eating, Speed Sharpening, Steadiness, Stun Resistance, Tremor Resistance, Right Range and Wind Proof. Those are good candidates for melting if you don't need them. And in group D we have Affinity Sliding, Bombardier, Botanist, Carving Pro, Constitution, Diversion, Fortify, Free Meal, Geologist, Horn Maestro, all your different resistance, Hunger Resistance, Item Prolonger, Leap of Faith, Master Mounter, Recovery Speed, Recovery Up, Stamina Thief, Wall Runner and Wirebug. Whisperer. Those definitely can be remelted because you will get a lot of them. Now that we know what skills there are and how they are categorized, what kinds of talismans can we get? Important to know, the skills from group A or B on a talisman can never be maxed out, so don't expect a weakness exploit 3 and even from group C and D it's pretty rare. In addition to that, you can't get three large decoration slots either. If your talisman has a skill from group A or B, it can maximum have one large and two small slots. And if it has only skills out of group C or D, it can have one large, one medium and one small slot. So the best you can hope for is a talisman with one group A, one group B and a large small small slot setup. And this can be really really rare. The best practice to get those decorations is to only use the Wisp of Mystery option to melt talismans and then take the group C and Ds you don't need for the rebirth option to get the most out of it. In short, the best results are Group A plus Group B in large, small, small or Group C and Group D in large, medium, small. And those combinations are really rare. Don't beat yourself over it. Use the groups to decide what you want to keep and what you want to remelt. If this video helped you in any way, like, subscribe, you know the drill. And as always, stay strong, keep hunting.